Hey, this is MJ and in today's tutorial, I'm gonna be showing you how to make this bulky and quick crochet hat. It has some really nice cabling details that I've added, but because it's made in super bulky yarn, it's gonna work up really quickly. This pattern is free on my blog and it includes a baby toddler size here, which is so cute and a child adult size, which I will be showing you how to make today. Plus, I've also included a large adult size also on the blog. So if you just click through the link in the description box, it'll take you over there and you can follow along with the pattern while making this hat. And the yarn that I've used for these hats here that I've made is Lion Brand Wool Ease Thick and Quick. So there's so many fun colors to choose from and it's a super bulky weight number six. You will need two hook sizes for this pattern. So I'm using an M hook, which is an eight millimeter, as well as an N, which is a nine millimeter. So we'll work up the band in the smaller hook and then the rest of the hat will be worked in the larger hook. Now, I really love the Streamline Swirls from Furls Crochet. So I've used these hooks for this pattern and there'll be links in the description box on where you can purchase them. And make sure to use code MJ's15 and you'll save 15% off your purchase. And I also made some hats in Tough Puff as well, which is a 100% wool. So I'll give you some options on the blog as to what you can make the hat in. And this one actually is one I made a few years ago when I designed this hat and I made it in Sugarbush Yarns Chill. That yarn is now discontinued, so I wanted to show it in a yarn that you're still able to purchase. I'm using a faux fur pom-pom and I order these from Amazon. It has a snap style so that you can sew this to the top of the hat and then just snap the pom-pom on so they are removable. So for attaching the pom-pom, you just need a small needle and some finer thread for sewing that on. You'll need a yarn needle for bulky weight yarn. So make sure it has a large end on it here so that you can weave in your ends. And I'm also just gonna add a personalized garment tag to my hats as well. So you can see they just fit on. So links will be for all those in the description box if you wanna get some personalized tags as well. So I'm gonna begin with the eight millimeter crochet hook, which is our M hook. And we're starting working the band and it is worked from the side across. So this hat is worked from the bottom up. So we're gonna start with the band and then the hat will be worked around the edge of the band once we seam it together. So make a slip knot and put that on the hook and we'll chain out six. Okay, and now you're gonna work a half double crochet in the second chain from the hook. So we're gonna yarn over, go through the chain, pulling up a loop, yarn over, pull through three. So yarn over, go through the chain, pulling up a loop, yarn over, pull through three. Now we'll chain one and turn. So the band will be worked in the back loops only. So here is the stitch and the loop closest to me is the front loop and the loop farthest from me is the back loop. So we'll yarn over, push your hook down through the center of the stitch, pulling up a loop, yarn over, pull through three. So we'll continue working half double crochets in every stitch. We're just working in the back loop only. And then we'll chain one and turn. So the chain one is not included as a stitch. So we have five stitches that we're counting. One, two, three, four, five. And 
half double crochets continuing in the back loop only. Okay, so the band is going to continue being worked in rows. So we're going to have a nice big long strip. Now for the child at small adult size, we're making a total of 24 rows. So I'm going to continue working them off camera. And then once I've completed them, I'll meet you back up to show you the next step. Okay, so I've completed my 24 rows and now our first row is the wrong side. Our second row is the right side. So when you work 24 rows, you should be ending on the right side here of your work. Now it's really easy to count these ridges. So as you can see how they pop up, you can count by two. So two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 22, 24. Okay, so next what you can do is chain one. What we're gonna do is, first I'm gonna measure this for you. Just so you know that you're on track, you should have, it should be about, it should be about 16, maybe a little under 16, 15 and a half. I mean, you don't wanna stretch it out too much. It's gonna stretch out to fit a, an up to 22 inch head size. So even like 20 to 22 inches would be a good fit. So it is about 15 and a half, I would say. 15 and a half. 15 and a half to 16. And the width here is about two and a half, okay? So this is gonna form the band that's gonna go around your head and then we're gonna start working that pattern in rounds. So what we'll do now is we're gonna fold it in half. So we're going right sides facing. This is the right side where we've ended. We're gonna fold it in half. And then we're gonna slip stitch the band together. So we're gonna go through the back loop only of the stitch and then go through to our starting chain here. And pull that through. Go to the next stitch. So there should be five slip stitches we're making to join this band. Last stitch here, so just going through the back loop only. And I'll get you to chain one, just to secure it. So when you flip the band now, you can see how seamless that is. So you can hardly tell where we've joined that up. And this band at this point can make sure that fits around your head. This should fit most children and small adults. Like my head size is a 22 inch, so I know this will fit me, but I will include a larger adult size in the pattern as well. Just if you do have a larger size head or you're making it for a man, you may need it a little bit bigger than this. And if you go over to the blog, you'll get all three sizes there. The pattern is free on the blog or you can purchase an inexpensive PDF if you'd like a printed copy of the pattern. So now what we're gonna do is work evenly around this band. So I want this to have 36 stitches for my pattern. The pattern is worked in multiples of six. So we need to make sure we have 36 stitches when we work around. So now, for half double crochet rows, we would work three single crochets for two of these rows. So what I like to do is kind of look at my two rows, make sure I insert three stitches, look at my next two rows, make sure I insert three stitches, and away I go around. Now I also like to keep my stitch sort of up in one of those top loops because if you start digging down in too far, it's going to make a gap. So I've done one, two, three. So that covers those first two rows and you kind of will find a place that's repetitive to go into. 
So I'm going to go into this stitch here. So one. My second stitch is kind of going above this section each time. So there's two. And then there should be a loop right here that you can get your third stitch into. So once you get a feel for that, so there's the one there. I'm crocheting here over my tail as I go. Then there's that little loop above there for your second. And then that loop again. Okay, so just continue working around the band in that manner and you should have 36 stitches when you get to the other side and I'll meet you back up for the join. So I have been working with my larger hook for this and now what we're going to do is slip stitch to join. So you want to find your very first stitch and we're going to go under the loops of that stitch to slip stitch to join. And now we'll chain two. Our chain two will not count as a stitch throughout this pattern. So for our next round, we're gonna work half double crochets into every stitch. So we'll yarn over. We're going through that very first stitch that's attached to this chain. And working a half double crochet into every stitch. Okay, and now repeat that all the way around. Okay, so I've worked around in every stitch, so I have 36 stitches. So those are all half double crochets now, and we're gonna slip stitch in that first half double crochet to join. Now we're not joining into the chain. You wanna make sure that you go under the stitch, through those two loops, and slip stitch to join. And we'll chain two. So now this is where we start setting up our pattern. So we'll be working some front post double crochets as we work around this round. So this, a front post double crochet is worked around the post of the stitch. So that's this section here. So we're not going under the stitch, we're going around the post when we do a front post double crochet. So let's yarn over, go down around the stitch, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. Now in the next four stitches, we will work half double crochets. So yarn over, the first stitch is almost kind of hidden right there. One, two, three, Four. Now what I like to do, just to make sure I don't go into the wrong post, I like to count over four. So one, two, three, four. The next two, we're going to work front post double crochet. So yarn over, go around the post, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. Okay, and then we'll work a front post double crochet in the next stitch. Okay, so we have four half doubles, then we have two front posts, and now we'll do four more half doubles again. So yarn over, make sure you get that first stitch. One, two, three, four. And then I want you to count across your posts so again you don't get the wrong one. So there's one, we're looking from this last post, one, two, three, four. So then we're doing the next two again. We're doing front post doubles. Okay, so we're gonna repeat that all the way around the hat. So I will meet you up when I get to the end. Okay, so I've worked all the way around. I'm ending with four half double crochets and you should have one stitch remaining here to do another front post double crochet. Now 
Now what we're going to do is slip stitch into the first front post double crochet to join up in the top of the stitch. And we'll chain two. Now for this round, we're going to start to create the pattern. So what's going to happen is this space that I've made here, this post and this post are going to start coming together. These posts are going to separate, okay, making the V shape, okay? So this is how we're going to do that. The very first stitch which is the top of the front post double crochet, we're gonna work a half double crochet. Then we'll work a front post in that established post that we've already created. Next, what we're gonna do is do some decreases. We're gonna do an invisible half double crochet decrease. So here are our four half double crochets we created in the last round. So now what we're going to do is yarn over, go through the front loop only of the next two stitches. Take your yarn and pull it through those two loops. You should now have three loops on the hook. We're going to yarn over, pull through all three. So again, we yarn over, go through the front loop only of the next two stitches yarn over pulling through those two loops. You now have three loops on the hook and we'll yarn over pulling through all three. Then we'll work a front post double crochet into that established post. So you can see these two posts now are coming together because we've made those decreases. But now what we need to do is get some stitches going between these posts. So if you look behind, you can see the top of the stitch for the front post double crochet in the last round. So these are the tops of those stitches. There's one front post double and the other one's underneath there. That is the top of the stitch. So what we're gonna do is add a half double crochet in the top of that stitch and then we'll add a half double crochet in the next. And then we'll work the front post double into that established post. Okay, so you can see how now we're separating these posts to create our pattern. And then we're back to doing the decreases again. So yarn over, front loop of the next two, pull through those loops, three loops on the hook, pull through. Then we're working a front post double crochet again. And then we need to look back again in behind to find that stitch. We're gonna work a half double crochet in the top of that stitch and in the top of the next one. And then a front post double. So this repeat now is just gonna happen all the way around the hat and I will meet you at the join again. So once you've gotten all the way around, so I'm ending here with two decreases, we're gonna work a front post in that established post mm -hmm. and then we need to add a half double crochet in the top of the stitch. We're going to slip stitch in that first half double crochet to join. And chain two. Okay, so for our next round we need to increase. So we're gonna work a half double crochet, the first stitch, and then we're gonna go back right down into the same stitch and work another half double crochet. Then we'll work a front post double into the established post. 
So now what we're going to do is bring these posts right together. So we're going to skip over these two stitches and work a front post double crochet. Now we need to do two more increases because we're still pushing these apart. So we'll do two half double crochets in the next stitch. And two half double crochets in the next stitch. So now we have made four stitches between the, these posts and then we're bringing in the other two to meet. So we'll do a front post double crochet. We're going to skip over those two stitches and work a front post in the next established post. Then we do our increase again and just keep repeating that all the way around. If you start getting confused, you just really want to look at your work. So these ones here that were together, we're separating them apart. The ones that were apart, we're bringing together. Okay, so I've gotten to my last post here and then we have that one final half double crochet stitch and we need to add two half double crochets into that final stitch. And then we'll slip stitch up in the top of the first half double crochet to join. Chain two. Okay, so now what we're gonna do for this round is we won't do any increasing or decreasing, but this round is when we're gonna cross over these posts to make our X. So we'll work a half double crochet in the first. We'll work a half double crochet in the next. And then we're going to skip this front post and do a front post in the next one. And then we're going to come back and work a front post into the stitch into the front post that we skipped. So yarn over. Okay, and then you should have four half double crochets here between, and we'll just work across them, one in each. Okay, and then when we get to the next front post, we're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna yarn over, skip the first, front post double crochet into the next, front post double crochet back into the skipped. And then four half double crochets. So just keep repeating this now all the way around. And if you need to go back and review any of the steps, just rewind the video and rewatch until you get the hang of it. And when we get to the end, we're just ending off with our two half double crochets. Slip stitch in the first half double crochet to join. And we'll chain two to start the next round. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is we have to start decreasing these sections and increasing this section. So this one's a little tricky just because you have to really dig for the, those front posts but I'm just gonna work through it slowly with you. So the first two stitches, we're gonna do an invisible half double crochet decrease, just the way I've been showing you. So we're gonna yarn over, go through the front loop of the next two, pull through those two loops, three loops on the hook, yarn over, pull through all three. So now what we need to do is dig and find that front post that's underneath. So yarn over, go down, find the post, work a front post double crochet. 
Now we need to go in behind and find the top of the stitch because we need to add those two half doubles. So half double in the first and half double in the next. Then we're going to do a front post. So after we complete this, you'll be really able to start seeing that X shape that we're making with the cables. So we've got the two half doubles going in between them. And then we're decreasing this section. So we're going to work an invisible half double crochet decrease. So go through the front two loops only, yarn over, pull through those two loops, yarn over, pull through three. Okay, and then again, we have to find the post that's underneath, it's hidden underneath there. And then you need to turn your work to find those stitches. There's the one front post, there's the other top of the stitch. And we're adding in the half doubles to separate those posts and then yarn over, make a front post double crochet. Okay, so now you're just gonna continue with that pattern around. Okay, and when we've reached the end here, we're gonna decrease those final two half doubles. And then we're gonna slip stitch in the top of that half double crochet to join. Chain two. And for this round, we're just gonna continue doing the same thing. We're eliminating these half doubles now. So this comes together. These are continuing to separate. So this time we're gonna skip right over that first stitch and we're gonna work a front post double crochet. Then we're gonna do two half doubles. two half doubles in the next stitch. So now we've increased that to the four stitches that we need. And then we're gonna do a front post double crochet in the next post. And now we need to eliminate these stitches so we're skipping right over them. Working a front post in the next post. Increasing between these posts, so two half doubles in the next two. One, two, one, two. Okay, so just complete that all the way around. Okay, so now I have finished off with that front post and we're skipping the final stitch and we're just slip stitching in that first front post double crochet to join chain two. So now what we're going to do is a crossover round again. So we're not increasing or decreasing, we're just going to get these crossover stitches completed. So we'll work a front post in the first, work a half double crochet in each of the next four, And now we're gonna cross these over so we're skipping. Work a front post double crochet and then work a front post double crochet back into the skip stitch. And then four half doubles. So we're just again keep repeating this all the way around we're almost finished and you can see that we're just going to use one ball of yarn to make this hat so 
I'm just going to repeat that around and then I'll meet you up again. Okay, so I'm finishing off with that front post and slip stitch in the top of that front post. Double crochet to join. Chain two. Okay, so now for this round, I'm going to work a front post double crochet. I'm going to work half double crochet decreases across the next two. So invisible half double crochet decreases. I'm going to work a front post in the next two. So I'm not doing the increases because I'm wanting this hat to cinch up a bit. So we're not going to add any extra stitches. We're just doing decreases on this one. Okay. So now the decreases. So we're getting that underneath stitch doing a front post and then the one that's over top. So you're getting this look now. So I'm going to continue working that around and I'll meet you back up at the join. Okay, so I finished off with a front post double. We will slip stitch to join and then chain one. So we're going to do another decrease round. To finish off this hat. So, we'll, so we're going to do invisible single crochet decreases. So you'll go through the front loops only, pull through two. Oops, let's try that again. So we'll go through the front loops of the next two, pull through the two loops only. You have two loops on the hook, pull through two. Go through the front loops only, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. Just do this all the way around. Just get the hat a little bit more decreased before we cinch it in. Okay, and then we'll just slip stitch to join. Fasten off with a tail. You still have about this much left. So if your gauge is a little bit off, you should, should be okay. So let's take our yarn needle. And what you're gonna do is go through the front loops only. And then you can just pull it closed like that. It's awesome. It just pulls it nice and tight. So then what you want to do is continue to weave that yarn needle through the top stitches. You want to make sure the top of the hat stays closed. weave all that through and then what we want to do is go back in the opposite direction and that is what's really gonna secure it from not coming undone okay. so you don't have to attach a pom-pom but I am going to put my pom-pom on so I've just thread some fine worsted weight here yarn whatever you have 
this color just sort of blends with the bronzed gold so that's why I've just chosen this color make sure you have a nice fine needle that you can work through these holes so you're just sewing it to the very top of the hat All I'm going to do is knot this. You could weave those ends down through, but I'm just going to trim them off and then these pom-poms I get from Amazon and they are a, a raccoon fur five inch. This is faux fur. It's not real fur. And what you want to do is blow dry them and it makes them come out nice and fluffy and even after wearing it for a while if your pom-pom starting to look a little smushed and rough looking just give it a blow dry and it will look like new again so you just want to pop that on and now here's my seam up the back so it actually looks really good but I'm going to flip that that it's to the back and then I'm also going to add on a tag as well. So you can get these personalized tags from Brick Bubble. And I'll have the link. And also there are lots of places you can get these done. So now to secure these rivets, you're going to want to hammer them on. Use the tools provided in the kits and get your hammer and hammer them. There's also ones that you can get now that are screw on, which I'd like to actually get for my next order so that I can just screw them on and I don't have to worry about hammering. Okay, so that just helps finish off your piece. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial to make this quick and easy bulky hat. It uses one skein of yarn only so it's an affordable hat that's quick to make and a great gift for the holiday season if you haven't already please subscribe to my channel and tap the bell to stay updated on new videos and tutorials and if you found this video helpful and you liked it please give it a thumbs up thanks so much everyone have an awesome day